Hello, this is Better Venom here, and um, I'm gonna make this is gonna be a quick tutorial about how to do custom animations for uh, well VR Jet. Now, I'm not gonna edit. I'm not gonna explain how to make them. I'm going to pretty much, if you find pre-made assets like on Maxima or whatever, and you want to add your animation to your character, this is what that tutorial fo is for pretty much pre-made animation clips added to your thing. This is not for uh, creating your own animations. If you want to do that, you're going to go somewhere else. Okay, so first thing you want to do is, of course, get some animations. If you're getting it from Maximo, you'll want to download it in the FBX file like this, because that's the only way I know how to fix an issue, and I'll show that issue in a moment. And once you do that, put in an animation file folder and throw the animations inside your. Sorry if you hear me shake, uh, quiver. I just had the chills. Um, okay, back to stage. Um, you want to put it all in one folder called animations, and then drag it into assets, and then you'll have your animations like that. No, well, not like that, but like this. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your VRC. Um, yeah, your VRC SDK, uh, SDK. You want to go to your examples, sample as, uh, sample assets, animation, and what you want to do is you'll want to come over to custom override this right here. Hit control, what hit and hold control, hit and then click hit D. What this will do is this will create a pretty much a copy of it. It'll copy it or duplicate it. Um, then what you want to do is you want to take that duplication you can rename it if you want or just leave it as is and throw it in assets now this will keep you kind of like a permanent copy later on in case you want to you know change it up and then what you want to do is make another duplica uh, duplicate of this one and throw it into animations and this is the one we're going to be using for our rig now what you want uh, now uh, what I would do is I would make a test uh, model so we uh, to test out your rig on your um, animations on. So how you want to do that is uh, you want to do the same process. Click on your the model you want to use. Hit Control D and it'll create a, uh, a second another copy of it. Then you want to rename that to anim you know anim test or animation test or whatever you want to call it and then uh, you want to do that same thing to your avatar so go into your folder go to your avatar click on it control D and create a duplicate of your avatar now the reason why you want to create a duplicate of your avatar is so that when you apply your animations it doesn't affect these ones in case you want to just save quit for the day and stop adding animations messing with the animations now um, once you do that create the second copy you want to go up here and click on this and you want to go into here click on avatar click on this little circle and go to your new the new avatar you just created and click on it. this this will apply the avatar to that now you shouldn't have to worry it should be literally the same thing just duplicated so yeah okay now once you do that you want to go back to your animations and go back to this folder this uh, animation override that you created duplicate of and you want to click you know you want to have this open click and drag this to your standing animations and your uh, controller now if you are having sitting animations as well I'll drag it to sitting animations but I'm not going to be doing sitting animations and then you'll get this is what you'll have now pretty much what this right here is is roughly all the animations um, I, yeah all the animations for I'm guessing if for, for standing by default unless you put it in sitting then these are all for sitting roughly I think. I'm not sure anyway and yeah so to add an animation file if you got it the raw file and it's already set to humanoid uh, just take the file and click and drag it to where you want now if you have a Maximo file or a FBX file so let's say you downloaded a uh, a uh, 
someone else's anim you know uh another avatar that had an animation you wanted out of it and you want to add it to your own well to do that same, same process uh, my suggestion is is if it, if it's like if it's like for Maximo and it's just named the animation because I didn't include the avatar you just simply double click it the uh, name control C go over here click this file right here that's the animation file control D that'll duplicate the animation file and rem and remove it from the avatar and then paste the the name in again and now I have that uh, animation file and you can go ahead and delete the avatar since you don't need it anymore since you got the uh, animation from it now if you download from Maximo, Maximo and you get this issue right here where when you apply your avatar or the animation to your avatar so you know you break it out and blah blah and you get this issue and it's, um, I don't know if this will do if you download with the avatar included or not but um, if you download it with no avatar, this happens. At least, you know. To fix this, what you want to do is click on this without removing the uh, animation. So you need this to fix this. Go to Rig and go to Animation Type. And you want to change the animation type from Generic to Humanoid and Apply. And that should, by all rights, fix the animation. Granted, this doesn't really have an animation, much of an animation to it, so yeah. And that'll fix your animation. And then you can just repeat the process. Control A, get the copy of the name. Click on this. Control D. Paste the name. Delete the avatar. And boom, animation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if this kind of seems like it's going on and on and on, but I try to make this as quick as possible. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I may make more tutorial videos. Hell, if uh, enough people ask, I may make it just an entire series dedicated to teaching everybody how to use Unity. Well, bye.